I had a dream that I wanted. Okay, I had a dream that I was gifted a fish, and I cried. <laughs> I kind of want a Nemo one. I do see a tiger one, but I'm a tiger. Let me growl for the. <laughs> no, I'm scared. Or a goldfish. Did you guys know that goldfish bring money? And also, koi fish are known for the most wealthiest fish on the planet. I think, as of right now. Look at it. <laughs> I originally had that one. Yeah. It lasted, he lasted, I think, a year and a half? I think it was because, <laughs> I, okay, I think it was because of the tank. Yeah, the tank is very important. I actually had a really big one, but it was the spring water and something about the temperature. I think that I put it by the sun or something. Vitamin C. If, if the zebra fish right there in the back comes to my finger, I'm gonna get it. Come on. I think he wants to come. He's not that bad too. But I want him. Watch this white one come back. If the white one comes back, I should get the white one. Look, look, look. Oh. Uh. <gasps> Yeah, that was close. Well, shit. Oh, don't break it, Taylor. Oh my gosh. Reminds me of Christmas. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Okay. You talking about some? Mmm. Huh. Huh. Completely did not expect to get this one, but. I 
Rice Sauce. Hold on, I need a break. I'm Biggest lie you've ever told. Biggest lie I've ever told. Biggest lie I've ever told. Oh, shit. That I'm straight. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, um, I don't know. Nigga. I don't really. I don't. I, I don't really tell a lie. It's that don't care skill. Okay. What's the biggest lie? I know it's something. It's got to be something with my parents. Ah, I'm drinking. Shit. Okay. What's the most embarrassing thing you ever did while you was on a date? <laughs> I didn't do it on a date. It was more so I queef. <laughs> on a date. Um no. Because I didn't get embarrassed. If I did, it was through their eyes. I, I, what was your most embarrassing moment? <laughs> My most embarrassing moment. <laughs> so I gotta decide if I'm gonna take this shot or not. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Well, it was just embarrassing for me, but that's bad. Take the shot, take the shot. I tell y'all, it was a good time. Take the shot. I forgot. I'm not looking in the camera. My bad. I was talking to this girl. It's in the morning. I was doing my thing or whatever. And then she FaceTimed me while I was doing that shit. And it was like... <laughs> it was like, oops, <laughs> what up? <laughs> Why'd you answer? What? <laughs> obviously, I wanted to. What? But yeah, it was just embarrassing for me. She didn't even know. That's not embarrassing. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to invalidate his feeling. <laughs> she said, that's not embarrassing. I'm like, because she didn't see it. So technically, you didn't really get embarrassed, you know? You either cheated or helped somebody cheat. Never. Never. Did that. Nope. Never cheated. Or helped anybody. Never helped anybody cheat. Man, to God. First of all, no. The ones who know I wouldn't cheat, they wouldn't even ask me for help if they know I don't cheat. So, have you? Have you ever? Have you ever loved somebody so much it made you cry? If you could go invisible for a day, <laughs> what are the top three things you would do? <laughs> I would <was> steal. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'd turn that motherfucker up. I'd put a whole bunch of shit in my car, take off. What else? Hmm. Probably be a bank accountant and 
transmute a whole bunch of shit to that my account. Was still it? <laughs> mm-hmm. Ain't no telling how I got it. I'm going to change the information wherever, wherever, whoever I could get it. I don't know. <laughs> Third, um, if I was invisible. I was just walking around naked if I'm invisible. That's the third one. I'm free. Freedom. 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 <laughs> what do you most hate about yourself? Or dislike? I wouldn't say hate. I second guess my intuition. That would be the number one thing that I, I dislike when I do that. I just, I, I'll be like, ooh, this is it. And then I'll be like, wait, but. <laughs> and that wait, but, I need to eliminate that. And my life would just go 10 times smoother after that. Yeah, I can 100% agree with that one. Mm-hmm. What's the furthest you've ever gone in public? <laughs> <gasps> my grandma probably watching this. <laughs> <laughs> She said, what? High school, there was no such thing as the house. <laughs> we didn't have our own place. I'm leaving it at that. <laughs> <laughs> Has someone ever called you out? And if so, on what? Oof. Yes, yes. Oof. Actually, I called out twice. I called out twice, I'm not gonna lie. I thought I was starting a nice little workout plan. And then uh, I was telling my friend about it. She was like, boy, that ain't shit. <laughs> I was like, oh, shit. I said, all right. That ain't shit. I got to step up. Start going to the gym. And then, um, so then my dad, my dad used to tell me, like, yeah, clean your room, not straighten your room. He used to point out a bunch of shit. Mm-hmm. And then it was like, you know, I had recently straightened my room, but I thought it was pretty cool then. Somebody came over and was looking at that shit. It was like, you need to clean up this, that. Wait, what's that? I got my shit called out. I was like, I clean my shit. Big time. Does that mean? I was like, I must have straight my shit. I need to clean it. Alright, man. This is my producer, y'all. We just recorded in the studio in his room. I said one time, like, yo, <laughs> get it together. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, not Yeah, I've been caught out for sure. Say, what was the biggest fear you ever overcame and what did you learn from it? Overcame. Oh, not allowing other people's perception of me to dictate my perception. Yes, that was hard because even when I was little, I always had the biggest issue of of when people used to accuse me of something that I didn't do. And I think that's what that a tie to when it came to like the real life. I mean, when you're a kid, people go say, you did this, you did this. So that was that reality. Mm. So, but I related it in a sense of, oh, you perceive me as this. Why would you treat me like that? And you know what I'm saying? So that was something I overcame because it was one point where I hit rock bottom constantly thinking about they thought like this, like this. Am I like this? Am I? No, bitch. No. You're okay. You know who you was before that, didn't you, bitch? So how the fuck, why are you questioning this? (laughs) Why are you questioning this? You don't know yourself now. Facts. It's like, let me... What Damn, that's a tough one. Recently? Oh my god, I cannot even say that. <laughs> I guess I got a dream. <laughs> you ever stuck your finger in your booty and smelt it?
Because at least do it one time in your life, or at least rub your finger around it a little bit to make sure that you fucking wash your ass good. And especially for these men that want you to be going down on them too. Your asshole is right next to your balls, okay? Do you understand <laughs> that? Make sure it's good. <laughs> do you understand that? Like, I don't think they do. I just had to say that. But what's one of the most intense on stage moments you've ever had? Hmm. Um, well, the only reason it was intense, because I had, okay, I was in theater when I was in high school, and there was this boy named Chris Francis. Ooh, I put your name out there. <laughs> um, but he don't care. I don't even know where you are. Um, so he, he... He was four years older than me, and I had the biggest crush on him. I was a freshman in high school. I even cried over him. I don't even know why. Like, I have no idea. I'm young. It makes sense, though. Uh, so, he was, he, but he has, for some reason, I don't know how, he found out that I liked him. And the last time, I think it was the last day, he had sat next to me the whole theater, like, time. We had like four, five shows back to back, and he sat next to me the entire time. But mind you, he was a senior, and they about to graduate. So the nigga was like, I, I don't know if the dude was like, I'm finna dip, so like, like that. <laughs> but he didn't say anything. He was just like, somebody was passing Skittles. He was like, here you go. And I ate the Skittles, and then it was at one point I went up on stage, and um, I was embarrassed. Well, you asked me one time, what was the question again? Uh, I was asking you just now, it was the most intense thing happening on the stage. Yeah, that was the most intense. Okay, because him, I, he had came up on stage, and I was on stage, but he was in the back. And he was just in the back watching me, and I was just on stage performing, and I was like, oh my God. And. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody, what, who was it? Uh, yes, no. <laughs> what are one of the wildest inspirations you've had for a song? Does that make sense? That was where you was going. <laughs> um, <laughs> my mind's telling me no. <laughs> Mm-hmm.